welcome to activity time. This week we're going to be looking at all the different crafts and STEAM activities that we have in our um, activity kits that you have picked up. Today we're going to start with uh, the Kids at Play group and their activity, the first activity is making a spider web. Our theme is bats and spiders, so number one, we're going to make a spider web. If you open up your bag, you've got the instructions on the front and inside, you have got the frame for a spider web, you've got a spider that you can put on your web, and you have a small bit of wool. To make our spider web, you're going to take your wool and find the end of it and then you're going to tie it right in the very middle of your frame and you're just going to tie a knot and look see how I've wrapped around the outside and just tie a knot and um, that will secure your wool and hold it in place so that you can begin weaving your spider frame. You might need a little bit of help with this part and if you do, that's okay, but I would like you to try it by yourself first before you ask for help, all right? And I've got a bit of a tail left, so I'm just going to cut that tail out of the way and then I can start weaving. So I'm going to bring my wool a little bit further down my first popsicle stick and I'm going to wrap it all the way around that popsicle stick, right, like that, and move over to the next one. And then I'm going to wrap it all the way around it and move to the next one. And wrap it all the way around and move to the next one. And you're going to do that over and over and over again until you get to the popsicle stick that you started with, which was this one. And then I'm going to move it a little further up the stick and I'm going to wrap it all the way around like that and go around the circle again to create my web. And your wool is going to move a little bit as you go around and that's okay because you can um, adjust it later and pull it out and make your web a little bit more even. And I'm back to the beginning again so I'm going to move my, wrap my wool around and then move it up just a little bit further the next time around, okay? Like that. And this is the one that there we go, we've evened it out now. And around the popsicle stick. And I'm going to keep going until I've decided that, um, the, till I either reach the ends of my sticks and I can't put in any more, or I've decided that I've got enough. And you want to have at least three or four go-arounds around your web to make it a nice full one, okay? And if you go around your popsicle stick more than once, well, that's okay too, because you can see I've done that on a few. And I'm back to the beginning, and when I get to the beginning, I am going to cut off my extra wool like this, all right? Because it's easier just to to um, work with a little bit of extra wool. Now this part you might, again, need help, but try it by yourself before you ask for some help. And you can see I am just going to tie a knot here, like that, and I'll wrap it around and make it a double, a double knot so that it's a little bit more secure. And then I finished it off like that. So I have my my finished spider web. I'm just going to spread out my my um, lines of my web so that they're a little bit more even. And you can do that once you've finished, okay? And I still have a little tail left, and that's okay because I can use this little tail now to 
to hang my spider web. And every spider web needs a spider. So if you open your package, you have got um, a spider in your package. Be careful with this part. You don't want to cut yourself. Oh, my spider doesn't want to come out of its package. There we go. Now you can use this. This is spider web from um, uh, it's cotton wool, so you can spread it out and make some extra spider webs if you're allowed to decorate your house. Then I am going to take my spider that I have unwrapped and I am going to put a bit of glue on my web frame and I'm going to stick my spider right into it. Okay. And I'll leave that flat until it dries because if I hang it up now, it will fall off. But, um, but now I've got a spider on my web that I can hang in my window to decorate. I hope you have fun making your spider. I'd love to see some pictures of the webs you create. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.